the rose, we can use the color. Um, the rose actually um, is more difficult to do the leaf, I found. Uh, most people think the leaf is easy, but not. Um, let me show you the, the leaf. There are five sections, but you don't have to do it symmetrically. So maybe, you know, like uh, three bigger, so you can, you can combine two groups, so they, they hide each other. You don't have to do the five, always, right? Mm -hmm. So make it dance. Uh, okay, then uh, sparse. Let's see. The leaf of the rose is very characteristic. You won't get confused with other flowers. It has, and there's maybe uh, three uh, near the, the top. Okay, like that. So this, uh, should I just stop at the leaf first, then I do the other illustration? So the leaf, it just, like Five this? Seven. Just, How did you uh, just a big uh, dot. Let me, let me show you again. Uh, so you can use lighter ink than you, you paint the veins or color. You can use green. But the basic stroke is, is like this. Uh, downward, upward, also uh, this is, uh, let's do a downward one. One, two, three. This is the side view. You can make it uh, like that. or. Uh, for front view view would be five, one, two, three, four, five, right? The, the pad. And then you can add a little vein in the center. That's the minimum, uh, like that. Yeah. Just, just one. Well, you can also do the secondary veins, more elaborated. So that's, and I also do this. Uh, what do you call this? Oh, uh, this notches, yeah. The notches uh, on the edge. It's also very rosy. <laughs> you see. That's Did you do thorns? There are thorns. Yeah, that's on the on the stem. The stem is uh, like that. Uh, just one even stroke for the uh, grass stem. There's two parts. One is the old trunk. That's more like. A, how do you do the rock, you know, very rough. But the, the stem with the flower is very um, tender. So you do like uh, like that, uh, just one. But you don't have to choose all the way from top down. You must do some leaf in front of it. Mm -hmm. Most people just do the, the, the stem all the way down and then they don't have any yeah. uh, leaves in front of it. That's, that's it wrong. So yeah, just kind of hidden, you know, mm -hmm. like that. Uh, you can have stems in different directions. Like you can, it could be long near the, the flower, right? Uh, that's, a, that's the stem. And then the thorns. Thorns is like, a, I must use a little bit the color so you can see better. I'll use a little red with the ink. Maybe. Okay, the thorn. It's like a little uh, chocolate. Oh, Hershey's kiss. Hershey's kiss, yeah. The kiss the chocolate. With a little kick that we did with the, the mm -hmm. basic calligraphy. Yeah, a dot with a kick, a, 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 mini, a miniature <laughs> calligraphy stroke that uh, from the, the, the morning class, right? So if you can do that kick, that's the. Can't shake that calligraphy; it keeps coming back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now um, the flowers. Flowers. Uh, we need to get this brush. This is a red, good brush. So we just do triangles. One, oh. two. Three, and then uh, don't repeat the same angle. You can uh, some are behind, right? Mm -hmm. So some, you know, just triangles in the, in the center. Then you dilute it to the outer, the outer ones. A big triangle. 
that's it. And you can just uh, blur it a little bit. So let me let me do it again, different angle. Uh, let's do it here. One, two, three. Side view. Um. So the rose is different than orchid. I mean, not orchid. Uh, peony. Peony has a uh, heavier bottom, but uh, yeah. not the edge. The the rose edge is more uh, solid. Mm -hmm. The the edge. The outer petal. Peony, we, we do it in this way, the, the center is more solid, the petal yeah. is like, you know, yeah, yeah, so the rose is opposite, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's more um, abstract, mm -hmm. so, uh, and then but it's like, uh, like this, just one petal, one stroke, like that, and then you can add like a fish mouth, <laughs> yeah. uh, that's all, you can, you can add a little, uh -huh. You can you can you can double that, mm -hmm. uh, like that. You know, just minimal, minimal, minimal uh, stroke. So this is yeah. This just parts. I didn't really try to connect them. But uh, there's another element yeah. you want to know the what is the the bud. Okay, three strokes, and uh, what is this? Uh, the oh, when they calyx, die. Yeah, calyx. Uh, the the calyx uh, and the what is the uh, the stem? I don't know what it is. The, mm -hmm. the leaf, like uh, under the flower, when they yeah, yeah. bloom. Yeah, it, it it looks like this, right? Yeah. <laughs> when they bloom. Okay, that that's the uh, but but you can you you can fill in the red there, but not necessary. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's the whole part. And you can have the green bud without the uh, the color. Just just three. Same color with the leaf, whatever color you use, and then like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So leave space between the strokes would be suggestive more, uh, we call it ideal writing instead of depicting yeah. uh, the subject, the object. Okay, let's do a complete composition. In composition we need to make sure not uh, occupy all the negative space. <laughs> so we need to do this way. Dramatically, you can, you can, you can force yourself just to do half to begin with, then you break that half. So uh, let's do a diagonal mark. It's easier, it's just, you know, mm -hmm. do either this half or this half, you know, um, or this half. So let's just do this half, for example. Uh, I'll do everything uh, inside, uh, on this side. So let me see. Um, when you have um, two flowers, what you do is uh, you, you have to make uh, one big, one small. That's a rule, right? Don't make it too uh, even, right? Mm -hmm. So you, you do one big flower, one small flower. That's a small one. This one will break that uh, cro the, oh, the cross. Yeah. The cross is falling. I just put some blue in it to make it dark. Pretty. Mm -hmm. So one big, one big, one small. It could be a side view small, you know, or or but small, you know, like mm -hmm. a half bloom or something. But you have to make a distinction. 
okay. And uh, just and I would usually do the leaf before the stem. The reason I explain: if you do the stem, it's usually in front of everything, right? You cannot hide it. Uh, so I do the leaf, but keep the stem in mind. You can. <laughs> yeah, uh oh. Oops. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do a yeah. I'll, I'll do a, a lighter stem, so that that way it's easier to correct. If yeah, you. to correct. So you can you can put a or a partial, you know, but not definitely not a long line like right. a, you don't have the uh, chance to make up the leaves in front of it and. Uh, but within this solid half, I still have to make uh, some heart, uh, some sparse, uh, some empty space in it, right? So you, you don't uh, you don't paint the whole uh, part solid. You, I'm doing a triangle shape uh, composition. And where do you learn all the rules of composition? Oh, I have a class online, which is lesson one. I, I taught this, uh, this lecture in, in one of the workshops and recorded it. Uh, on so composition? You, yeah, okay. it, it talks about uh, different uh, rules of uh, uh, different pattern, different uh, formulas. Like a triangle C or S shaped composition, that kind of thing. Where you, uh, General. Let's see, okay. Dense, sparse, Let's do. and the contrast, right? Mm -hmm. That's all it's about. Okay, now. This part. You, you try to hide the uh, mistakes and keep the good ones. It looks like this one I like. I try to keep it. So I work around it. Okay. Um, Looks like old yeah. chunk there. And, uh, There's another good outside. Okay. Ideal complete with absence of stroke. Don't try to define everything. Beautiful. And, uh, uh, try to, to keep it to uh, Loose. Um, maybe I already overdone it. <laughs> this could be voided. I try There's no eraser. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that's have to. You have to make a minimum approach. No eraser. Okay, now um, we can see. Do a butt outside coming from this side. So I first of all consider the composition a need. Second, uh, the re representation or color or whatever it, you know what is represent. So that's very important uh, to have an abstract uh, control uh, over your element. Whether you this is the the detail 
basically said thorns. Actually, not much on the flower, more on the trunk. Uh, okay. I will do a bottom uh, trunk with a kind of dark, no dark, gray, gray, okay. like a piece of rock. Mm -hmm. Whatever. It could be a piece of rock. Um, oh, I got a bee there. <laughs> That's a, a drop of water. So <laughs> we just do it to uh, into a, make it into a bee. This is the. B color. Ah. Yeah, I'll try to do the stripes first, maybe it's easier. One, two, three. Some hair, the antenna, the leg, the tie. Aww. And then just fill in some uh, yellow. We got a bee here. Oh! <laughs> I'm in love with this painting. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? So, just Anything else you want to learn before we go, or this is good? This is good. Okay. okay. Maybe sign this, yeah. and then we'll uh, put my chops, and it's completed. You can take home this to practice. Thank okay. you. I need to take these all home and practice. Let's we'll see how. How we do? <laughs> <laughs>